Okay, it started. Hi. Um, this is my first video now because my previous video, which was recorded with my phone and had the whole picture of <clears throat> Berry Town 2, they would not let me upload because of whatever reason. So now this is supposedly my first video, of course, if they let me upload it. So first off, if you're having trouble with Berry Town 2 and I don't answer your question here in this video, go ahead and comment and ask and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll check it as often as I can. So hopefully within a couple of hours. So the first thing is mood. A lot of people are asking about mood and there's no FAQs online about it. Barely anything that I had trouble with is online. So from experience and playing the game a lot because I've been looking for a game like this forever. I'm just addicted to it because it's a survival horror looting crafting game. So okay, let's get into mood. Um, first off, your house, your, and I don't want to give away too much information that you already know and just clutter this video up. So I'll try and make a couple of videos with um, descriptions of what it is. So since this is my first video, my thoughts are just everywhere. So bear with me. Okay, mood. Um, the chair in your house, in the living room next to the fireplace, takes 10 wood and it unlocks um, orange juice made with three orange powder and one water. You can also get this by fighting the other players, which I'm currently doing now on my phone. And if you need it, there you can get it from fighting. And the first person that you beat will give you three of them when you first leave your house. But I suggest that you only build a chair if you really, really need to. Because the mood will affect how much uh, health you're regaining from sleeping. Which if you are doing it correctly, you should get the max amount. So no infection, no wound. Well, infection actually doesn't matter if it's just a little bit. Like up to 20, 30 is okay, but wound definitely heal before you go to sleep because that affects how much health you're regaining. You won't, you'll cap off before 220 or whatever your max is if you have a wound. So always heal the wound and make sure you have enough food to where you're sleeping and it won't drop below half because that's where you will lose mood. If any of your stats, vigor, um, infection, wound, food, anything besides health, if it drops below about half and it starts to flash, then your mood will drop extremely, extremely fast. So always top it off if you can, keep it above half and you will not lose mood, I promise you. Only if you drop below half, and especially if you're flashing, that's when your mood will drop like 15 points at a time. So do not, you know, if you leave the house, take an orange juice or I mean, take food and maybe anything for vigor. And if you're gonna be fighting for a while, you have enough health, then just replenish your food. You know, eat something so that when you make it back to your house, you won't be lower than half. That's the best way to keep your mood up. And if your mood does start to drop, automatically, first thing you do is fill it. If you wait till it drops more, you will only lose stats, time, everything. You will lose how much health you're getting from sleep. You will lose how much damage you're doing. And fights will become harder. You will lose more health. You will die faster. So I do not suggest you do that. If you want to go on a killing spree, bring shit with you so that you can keep killing without losing mood, without dropping below half. And make sure that before you run back to your house or run anywhere, you have enough uh, food or vigor to do so. 
to get there and back. Okay, so that is your number way, number way, number one best way to keep your mood up. Okay, and like I said, the chair will give you um, the ability to make juice, orange juice, and coffee is the next level, and then cigarettes is the next level. Okay, but I personally don't even go that far. I only do it if I really have to, and I don't go, I don't waste resources on the first past the first one for orange juice and I pretty much trade everything else like the coffee beans and whatnot and the cigarettes if I get them from fights I'll use so that's all I have on mood again any questions feel free to ask and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you'd like me to make a video on anything comment that and I'll be sure to make it right away for you okay uh, thank you for watching and I hope that helped a little bit okay Thank you. Bye.